This evening for dinner we are going to do spaghetti alla pescatora. Um, it's a very easy, very quick and very cheap, apart from being an absolutely delicious dish. Uh, I've already got the water on to boil. Um, by the time it comes to the boil and the spaghetti is cooked, the sauce will be ready just to amalgamate all together. So, so ice on the pans, let's get cooking. I shall be using uh, this seafood selection which you can buy in the frozen counter and you can cook it from frozen and it's something that you would obviously have in your freezer and therefore makes it a quick and easy meal to do when you've run out of ideas. A glug of oil to stop anything catching on the bottom. You can chuck that in and let that go for a moment. Water's come to the boil, roughly half. It's about 100 grams per person. I have a very hungry other half, so he'll have 150, even 200. Some parsley, which I'm going to chop up. to defrost that it's probably going to take a good 20 minutes anyway I already smell it let's add some wine some capers might as well finish them I bought these back from Italy in the summer they are anchovies or acciughe and they're very salty my goodness do they add a, a taste to so I shall just chop them up into tiny little pieces, like so. There, like, I might chuck half of that in now, there. And we'll keep a little bit back for decoration at the end. These are tomatoes from my garden. So there are two kinds of spaghetti alla pescatore. In bianco, which is what we're doing tonight, or in rosso is when they add a tomato sauce to the pan um, and therefore it's red in rosso. Both are equally delicious. Chop up some garlic. And turn that down a bit. Now that's cooking nicely. There. Without realising it, I have the Italian flag on my board, red, green and white. Let's add that straight away. Give it a stir. It's a shame you can't smell with video because that is looking really good. Right, let's chuck those in. But I'm not too fussed if they break up. It's probably better if they do. And um, I would normally add, which I've run out of, is a pepperoncino or chili pepper. So this evening I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Oops, glad I did that on my hand because I don't want too much. Just enough to add a bit of taste. I'm just looking for a kick, not um, to knock anybody out. So. And that is basically it guys, that's all we are going to be adding tonight. We'll lift that up to get it cooking nicely. How do you test if your spaghetti is cooked? Well, don't throw it at the wall, I don't know who made that up. First of all, you can actually feel how heavy it is with your spoon as you're shoveling it around the pan. And the next thing of course is to bite into it. And by doing that, yes it is hot, but you can manage to pick up a... You then look at the bitten off piece and see if there's any white in the middle of where you've just bitten. If it's still white, it's flour that needs cooking. That is very close and still al dente. And that is how I actually want it because by adding it to the fish when the fish is cooked, it will fit, it will cook longer there and I don't want it to overcook. I should taste the sauce to see if it needs correcting. Very tasty. And then, put my 
my spaghetti on top, like so. And that is it guys, that is ready to serve. Mix it well, like so. If it's sloppy at the bottom, it's not a huge problem because that sauce is so delicious. It's got all of the goodness of, there, all of the goodness of the cooked fish, pepper, a little bit of that on top, like so. You know what else would be really nice is maybe some chopped up chilli, fresh chilli. That would add an extra kick. Buon appetito! <laughs>